If you've been a member of my YouTube channel for any length of time, today's video is really going to be uh, powerful for you, and I think it's going to be really impactful to you. So I want to encourage you guys to just really tune into today. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, so what I want to do is I want to start a series on my YouTube channel, and what it's going to be called is um, a 30-day 30 30-day 30 challenge of going from good to great. Okay, the 30-day challenge of going from good to great in Madden. And what it's going to do is over the next 30 days, I'm going to give you 30 lessons that um, I have learned in, in the last you know couple years that I have been playing that has helped me get better at Madden 18. I think this is going to be a lot of fun for you guys. And so anyways, it's literally every day there's going to be a different lesson learned. And we're going to kind of do it in a progressional system so that you can see it uh, kind of progress into a whole thing. We're going to show some game footage, different things like that. Uh, so I'm really excited about it. But what you need to know is what this really means to you guys is that if you want to get um, access to these 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 videos, what I want you to do is I want you to just leave your email address in the description in the comments of this video. Uh, we're going to be using the bunch guide that I developed and gave out for free. So if you want to have the bunch offensive guide, all you need to do is leave your email in the comments of today's video, and I will shoot that guide right over to your email. It's a free, it's about an hour and a half worth of footage um, with the bunch offense, in my opinion, which is probably one of the better offenses in the game. And what I want to talk about today is, is what you need to know about having an offensive game plan. So uh, offensive game plan, and here's, here's in a nutshell what I wanted to impart on you, the lessons that I have learned um, on developing a plan. Here's the key. Number one, you have to have, it has to be specific. It has to be very specific, very detailed. Like I need to know what I'm going to run and when I'm going to run it. And that's really critical. So as you're going through your playbook, uh, for me, um, the first rule of that is to have one formation. Okay. Have one formation that you would say you run probably 90 five percent of the time for me that is the shotgun bunch out of the pittsburgh steelers playbook i wrote books on it i've um the pre if you if you're a subscriber to the premium membership you know all about it um if you got the free bunch guide by leaving your email you know about it i run the bunch and that's what i'm gonna do that is the best formation for me in man 18 so i looked at all the different playbooks and i found that the best shotgun bunch for what i want to do is in the pittsburgh steelers playbook. So the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook is the one that I'm going to run. Once you've settled in on those two things, then you have to ask yourself, what is my, uh, you know, what am I going to do as far as personnel? Well, what I want to do is I want to find a team and you can do this really a lot, a lot better in Madden Ultimate Team, but I want to have a running back that can catch the ball out of the backfield, can make some people miss. I want to have a slot receiver who can have good catching traffic, good route running. I want to have one just absolute stud catching traffic receiver. And then I want to have one receiver that is a big play threat, someone that can go up and get it if I need them to. And then I want to have one guy who's a, my tight end is, you know, kind of a fast, quick catching traffic style of tight end. So that is the bunch built. Then what you want to do is you want to set your audibles. And so, uh, in my bunch guide, I show you how to set the audibles and the audibles that I would recommend you having at your disposal. And then what you want to do is you want to come out in the same play every time. This is critical to your success um, in Madden is to, is to come out in the same play every single time. You'll see that most people who are really, really good at Madden, they do this very, very consistently and they do it very well. And that's something that I have distilled. Some of the lessons that I have pulled is number one, you want to have the same formation. You want to stay in the same formation about 90% of the game. Number two is you want to come out in the same play every single time. One play, you come out in the same play. It's a creature habit. Number three, you want to make everything that you do look exactly the same. You want to make everything that you do look exactly the same. Okay, so this is another critical tip and uh, something that's really, really hard for a lot of people to do, actually. Everything should look identical. It, it really should. And if it doesn't look identical, then there's something wrong um, with your system. You need to create a system in which every single play that you call looks exactly the same. That way, the defense can't identify what it is that you're doing. Okay, that's that's critical. Everything needs to look exactly the same, so that way they can't tell if you're running PA post, bunch trail, verticals, corner strike. None of those things can be told um, if everything looks the same all the time.
Okay, so those are the critical elements to creating an offense scheme. And then the second thing, and then the last thing is to have, um, last thing that I would say when you're talking about creating a plan um, is to have, have routes and plays that set one another up, not just having money plays that uh, work well one play a game. And so the way that I do that is every single play is speci is very specific um, in its purpose. So my PA post play is my base play. My bunch trail play is my counter play. Or my uh, PA post is my power play. Bunch trail is my counter play. Corner strike is uh, kind of my, what I would call if you were in boxing, is my body punch play. It's something that I can kind of use at just kind of certain times when the defense needs something to beat it, when really it's it, and really what it is is when the defense is starting to shut down all of the in-breaking patterns, then I'll go to a play like this that has everything breaks to the outside on this specific play. The play verticals is a constraint, what I call a constraint theory play, and what I use a constraint theory play for is in situations where I need to kind of have something extra, just something that. They, they, you know, they haven't really seen, they don't really know what to expect, and so I'll go to verticals in those situations because it gives me you know, a couple of other options. Another play that I have is a, a deep corner. Deep corner is one of those plays, it's a shot play. It's, it's something that I use maybe once or twice a game, but it's normally to try to, to get a really, really good uh, shot play in. Okay, so the key is having a specific purpose for everything. HB base is my base run. It's the power. And so if the defense has given me a good look to run the HB base, well, then I know that I can run it up the middle. I can also run it to the left. I can run it, cut it all the way back. I can do a lot of things with this specific run. And then I know, too, that I can check down to the single back bunch uh, right in here, and I can run quick pitch and different things like that. So... Again, the main reason I wanted to do this video for you guys today is I just wanted to give you some access uh, to, number one, I wanted to explain the new series, what we're doing, and we're going to be going through, and I'm going to give you 30 lessons in 30 days that I have learned over the course of my career in Men 18 that will help you get better. While we're doing this, we're also going to be tracking our performance, um, and we're just going to be playing a, a game a game or two every day, and I'm going to talk about my record and different things. and. We're just going to go through and try to figure out, you know, can we become a, a really, really good player just by implementing these simple strategies, okay? And then uh, if you want access to the, the bunch plan to actually see the plays we're running and to see how to set them up and to see how to read them, you can actually download that. Um, that offense is for it's completely free, no charge, uh, no charge to you. All I need is your email. So if you just leave your email um, in the in the in the uh, comments section of today's video, then I will get that and I will shoot you that over. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably send out a link maybe once or twice a day on that. I don't want to get too crazy with it, but uh, but anyways, guys, really really excited about this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, but really, the goal here is to try to really give you guys a, a series that you can kind of watch every day, um, kind of like a daily show where we really just go through and. I don't know, just give you a little bit more consistent. So this will happen every single day for the next 30 days. And then after that, we'll think about something new, maybe do another series or whatever. But for the next 30 days, what I want you to commit to is just watching this series. Um, and if you can do that, uh, at the end of it, we will launch, uh, we will actually give you guys our, our defense for free. So thanks for watching. And we will see you guys tomorrow in our first installment of the